Hello everyone, today's tutorial is going to be how to backup Active Directory with NT Backup. We'll briefly go over Active Directory and the files used and then we'll start the video. Active Directory uses the following files. ntds.dit, this is your database file. edb.chk, this is your checkpoint file. edbsomething.log, these are your transaction logs. Each about 10 megabytes in size, res1 and res2.log, and these are your reserved transaction logs. Active Directory by default stores all these files in the default location of the C drive, Windows, slash NTDS, if you're curious. Okay, so now that we went over that, let's go ahead and take a look at the video, and we'll go ahead and get started now. First go ahead and click on the start button and then run. This will open the run dialog box. Type NT Backup and then hit OK. This will launch the NT Backup application and you can click on the Backup Wizard button or you can click on Tools and then Backup Wizard. Now here's the Backup Wizard go ahead and click next then what we want to do today is select only backup the system state data then click next here you will select the location to save your file so let's go ahead and make a folder and location for this backup so we'll go to the e drive and we'll create a new folder in this directory we'll call it system state backup so just remember this location. So it's E drive system state backup. We'll use that when we add it here. So let's click on browse and then just browse to the location. System state backup. Then we'll go ahead and enter a file name for this backup. System state backup and we'll give it today's date. So 0321.08. Then click on the save button. And then we're ready to go. Click next and click finish. Now if you want to click on the advanced button you can configure a schedule for this so you can do daily, weekly, or monthly reoccurring backups that will be automated for you. But for this video tutorial we are just going to do a one-time backup. So you'll see here now all the files are being copied and it gives you an elapsed time, an estimated remaining time, how many files are being processed and, and estimated? We'll just go ahead and look at this. And it takes All about right. four to five minutes on our server here. It's just a test server, so uh, this might vary depending on how many files you have and how much needs to back up. So once this is done, it'll give you a just uh, finished box dialog box with two options: close or report. So we'll see that in a second. So you'll want, what you want to do is click on the report button. This will show you a report of the job or a job report. So here we have um, what was copied, uh, how, how much data was copied, the start time and end time, and that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and click close. We'll exit out of back NT backup and then just check the location to see if the file has saved correctly. Here we have the E drive system state backup. It's about 700 megabytes in size. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you'd like to see other IT tutorials, please visit niche.com slash tutorials for full resolution videos. Thank you very much.